Welcome back to Central Valley Weddings and Special Events Show where we feature the best of the best. We're here to celebrate what's good about Fresno and the entire valley. Uh, talk about the best of the best. We have a photographer here today, Carrie Jenkins. And did you send in some pictures? I did, yes. Did we get to see some yes, of your work? Yes, okay. yeah. And um, we try to tell people, our viewers, hire a pro. It's so important. And we're going to see why hiring a pro is important in a minute because we're going to see the pictures if we have them or if we find them. Um, now, somebody's getting married. Well, you do more portraits and stuff like that than, than I, weddings? I do a mix, but we weddings are weddings? my favorite. Yeah, okay. I do. If somebody's going to get married, how early should they call you? Like, really, as soon as they set a date. Like six months a year? Six to, yeah, at Even least six months. Um, I sometimes, if a photographer will cancel, you can give me a call if I'm available, I'll help you, you out. But in. yes. But, yeah. but you're going to be filled up. And so if you yes. want a good photographer, a pro, uh, you need to uh, call Carrie Jenkins in a bath. Well, tell me about your portraiture and your studio work. So I have a studio up in Oakhurst, oh. and i um, focusing on fine art portraiture, mm -hmm. so kind of a timeless uh, keepsake portrait that I, my goal is to get my clients to, to print their pictures and hang them on the wall. Hang them on the wall. You know, a disc in a drawer isn't going to do you any yeah. good. Now, see, this is what I mean. As soon as we see this, we know it's a It's so crisp and clear, well staged. Like I said, I've seen pictures of brides with a telephone pole behind them. Right, over their head right. And stuff Those like little that. details really do make yeah. the difference. And the, the pictures I chose, I really wanted to focus yeah. on those candid. Yeah, you capture their personalities yes, in your pictures. Yes, is to that. tell the story of each uh -huh. bride and groom because they're all yeah. different. Yeah. And then those sweet moments yeah, that of connects. Yes. Very intimate. Yes. Nobody with their cell phone is going to capture that. Yes. This was a very fun bridal party. Is this in Yosemite? This is up at Sierra Sky Ranch, just oh, north sure. of Oakhurst. Sure. Mm -hmm. And now these are the pre-wedding. This is, yes. Pre-wedding photos. Yes. So. And then the this was another fun couple. They have a young daughter and just a beautiful... Mm -hmm. uh, joy-filled day yeah, and, and these are art pictures you could hang this is an art piece for yes. your wall That's and again sure. that that is really my goal is to work with clients in fact I just ordered their album their fine art mm -hmm. album for them and I uh, will look at wall art as well so yeah. I want them to see these pictures for years to come you know you think about two generations back people maybe had one picture one from picture their wedding, the wedding right? right and they cherish that picture yeah. and so this is in this is in yosemite okay. yes one of my favorite that's i laugh i have the best office in the world when i'm up there shooting yeah this is there's a lot of weddings up there yes people don't yes. know that people come from all over the world to get married right and they there. do and i have a um a few weddings i've done from people out of state so i'm there yeah. often their uh, witness on the marriage certificate yeah. as well so now this can be challenging sometimes Wedding? Depending, yeah, there you can see the snow, it was cool, and um, we had rain for one wedding, and we mm -hmm. braved that, and so yeah. you just, you prepare for everything, and hopefully my couples are a little adventurous, and we make the best of it, so. And you as a photographer, you're the only photographer there, so you have to be adventurous. And yes, do yeah, what you have I'm, to do I'm to, up for the, ta yes, I'm up for the challenge, the definitely. The lighting on that was just beautiful. Thank you, yeah, that was, and that was just one of those serendipitous moments, and that's what you look for, it was yeah. a skylight in that house, and. Um, well, in the, this digital age, I guess you could take a lot more pictures. It do, yes, it gives you a little more flexibility to to kind of take some chances and work with, you know, try something. If it doesn't work, you move on to the next spot. But it's, you know, understanding your couple or your client and what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, wedding photographers have a particular style so when bride and grooms are looking for their yeah. photographer they want to look at their portfolio and make sure that it matches yeah. the the goal they have in mind for their their pictures so so where would they start where would your uh, uh, people who are gonna hire you where would they start at your website well, website look at the portfolio uh, I also have Facebook and Instagram um, and then I think that next step and you know often couples their first question is how much is it yeah, how and much, yeah. We understand you have a budget. I understand you have a budget. You're working within that, but I think a phone call is a better place to okay. start and see do you connect because it's very intimate being with a couple throughout the whole day yeah. of their wedding. You're yeah. there for all the nitty gritty and the happy moments and the sad. I just read a quote that said, "A wedding photographer is a, a therapist and a GPS <laughs> locator, and sometimes yeah, a wedding car. You know, you you do the whole gamut yeah. during the you're day. There the whole time. Yes. Now, yeah, some." <laughs> People may have a $500 budget and some may have a $5,000 budget. Yes. So talk to your photographer, ask. They shouldn't be embarrassed. Say, how much is it? Right, yes. Ask her right up front, right. I guess. Yeah, so. and, then, and also if, um, like I have set packages, but if there's something that doesn't work for them, I can customize it okay. to fit what they're looking for. But like I said, I really do encourage 
my uh, couples to end up with wall art or an album, something in print to have to memorialize the day. So they now the do you mostly do the uh, Oakhurst uh, Yosemite area, or do you come down to Fresno? I come all down over the to state? I come down to Fresno. I've gone down to the coast. I've gone over to Sonora. So really, it's just um, I'm willing to travel. I'm happy to travel and and uh, it's to get a good outdoor photographer that's a rare catch so you obviously have mastered that i that's my so yes, many challenges I love light and shading and rain and yes you know anything could happen on that wedding day you don't get to control the light no no <laughs> so you want to have a photographer that kind of knows how to to do that now what's the output what are they going to get do they get uh uh, digital copies of their photos to look through or how, how so so I'll do a customized gallery that they can look through they can mark their favorite photos I actually design their album for them okay. because it, again when we're talking about grandparents had one picture I'm sending them 600 pictures so it can yeah. be overwhelming to go through so I have an eye for what's gonna make mm -hmm. a beautiful album to tell the story of their day then they can make simple edits but I've taken the heavy lifting out of it for them and uh, they've been very happy. My couples have been very happy with what they've ended up with. So. Now, when you're turning into wall art, by the way, what's the biggest one you've ever done? Biggest one is 24 by 36. Wow. Okay. Do you t t retouch the picture? I, oh, of course. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. And so are you, you're doing it in, in the digital format. You're retouching it or after it's printed? Uh, digital. So I shoot raw. I, okay. I do my edits and then I would send it. I would or I actually manage all the ordering mm -hmm. for them. Okay. So, again, it takes the the heavy lifting out they come they tell me what they're looking for and it's when you see an 8 by 10 next to a 24 by 36 you go yeah maybe an 8 by 10 isn't yeah. going to cut it anymore right. so yeah. once you see um, the big one people don't want to go back no so. and yeah. then there's now we have you're printing on metal you're printing on mm. wood you're printing behind acrylic you're doing um, black and white and color metallic paper so there's a variety depending on the style of your home um, yeah. to match what your your decor is so. and do it do and it, does anybody come back later a couple years later and say yep we've got our house now and we know the space we want to fill can you yes oh absolutely or now we want to do gifts for mm -hmm. these people you know yes so i do archive and keep my um my photos yeah. and will you always meet with the bride and groom before at least by phone okay. I, like i said when they're out of state and they're not in until maybe the day before the wedding we don't always meet yeah. before i meet them the day of the wedding but in for we a do Yosemite wedding yes yeah. we do do a phone consultation and talk to them about their love story mm -hmm. and um, get to know them a little bit and what's important to them and very good yeah. well i can instantly tell by your pictures that you're very very oh, professional thank you. thank you and this show our whole theme is get a professional yes um professionals don't miss the day they don't get sick they don't know yes nothing could keep them away from the way you know, they're in advance you know who the star is I, that day. and i yeah i've shot someone cold medicine before yeah. so yeah I, we show up <laughs> well let's give out the web page address okay. or let's verbalize it okay us. so the website is photos uh with an s by carryj.com and you can also reach me at 559-641-1500 and uh, I do answer that. I'm okay. uh, I'm the Carrie behind the Photos by Carrie J. So yeah. you talk to me, and uh, I love photographing weddings. You know, it's and like you said, it's important that you have someone that knows what they're doing is going to deliver a good product. It's not something you should scrimp on and take yeah. a chance of not having a good final product yeah. at the end. It'd be disastrous. You're one day forever. Yes. So. Yes. Now, uh, and what I find fascinating is we've had photographers, they say, oh, yeah, we send them the digital, you know, bank, and then that's it. But you take it to the art. You yes. print on the metal, the wood, yes. the, the different yes. finishes yeah. that you know about and you could recommend. And I, Well, I think it's a disservice to just, and I, and I talk to people, oh, you got a disc with 600 pictures. Yeah. Did you do anything with it? No. Yeah. So, what, so yeah. what have you paid for? Right. You know, something to look on your computer. Yeah. And should that get broken? Should you know you Facebook or yes, something. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's bringing it onto your... And it's a reminder. You know, I had a couple who had an album, and they said, that saved our marriage. When we're having yeah. a rough time, we sit down sit and down flip and through it. Pictures. And look through it. And when yeah. you see it on the wall every day, it reminds you what's your commitment, what yeah. this is about. It gets you through those rough times. So it's really more than a photo. It's really more than just a picture. And one other thing I could tell you, I usually don't say this, but by looking at yours, you put these people at ease. I like do. I, that's, your photos that you you do. know, I and I have a hard time tooting my own, but my, my clients consistently say it was fun. Yeah. I just did an engagement session. She said, I was so nervous and you totally put me at ease and you made a great experience. And she thanked me so much. And it's and that connection, and that's what I wanted to show with the pictures I shared, is capturing what's unique about them, the connection of the day, and really, I'm just an observer. It's 
I want them to kind of forget I'm even there and I just tell their story. You tell their story. Okay. Yeah. If you uh, didn't write down the information for Carrie Jenkins, you could call me here at Center Valley Talk. I'll give it to you. I'll give you her direct number or you could call and talk to her yes. personally. Uh, get a pro, get Carrie Jenkins for your wedding or event or portraiture or baby pictures. Baby pictures, yeah. maternity pictures, yes. Yeah. So. And, and engagement too. Yes. Engagement. Oh, and engagement is often better because the wedding day is so stressful, it really becomes not about the couple. So those engagement sessions before give you a more genuine, relaxed photo than you get on the wedding day. More so, uh, yeah. It's, meet the people through the lens. Yes, there. yes. Right, we will be back with more Central Valley weddings and special events show right after this. Thanks, Mike.